there are three, there are lots, but there's three that we're going to focus on of making sure that your cleaning company is in front of your target audience. And in this case, it's new mums. These are the three that I'm going to chat about. The first is Google AdWords. Google AdWords, which is now called Google Ads, is something that I love because the targeting can be really, really specific. You can choose a location. So just like when I said you can do a 10 mile radius of your house, you can choose, I only want to show my advert to people within a 10 mile radius of my house. You can choose certain demographics to target more. So if you know that new mums are going to be of a certain age and they're going to be a certain gender, women, you can start to target them. Um, and you can choose what words you want to target. So, um, and by words, what I mean is if somebody Googles um, carpet cleaner near me, you might want to show for that term, but you might not want to show for cheap carpet cleaner. Um, you might want to show for professional maid service business, but you not, might not want to show for maid service Groupon. Because in both of them cases, someone is looking for a cheap one-off job and they're not going to sound like your loyal customer. So Google Ads allows you to do that. What I also love about Google Ads is it's really fair. You only pay when somebody clicks on your ad. So if a potential customer typed in maid service in London, the only time that you pay is if somebody clicks on your ad. If they click on someone else's, you don't pay. So if they click on your ad and you just pay for that click, that is so different to something like the days where we used to put adverts in the yellow pages or in church magazines or pay for leaflets. In that case, you pay up front a couple of hundred or a couple of thousand dollars and then you hope that somebody sees your advert in a magazine or sees your advert in the yellow pages. So you've paid up front and then you hope. With Google Ads, you're only paying if someone's specifically looking for your service. So in this case, made service in London and then clicks on your particular ad. So they've really shown an interest in your business. So I think that's a way fairer way of marketing. The second way that you can get in front of your target audience is Facebook ads. So oh, Facebook ads are amazing because you can get super targeted. They have so much data on people. It's scary how much data Facebook has on us all. But you can use that in your cleaning business to then say, I want to show this particular advert just to new mums because that's who I'm going to target. What's really great about really specific targeting is it can bring the cost down for your conversions because you're getting really niche and your ad is going to speak to the person that you're trying to target because you can get so much more specific in your ad. So rather than doing a, let's say you're a maid company, a maid service company, rather than just doing a generic ad that says we clean rooms, three rooms for X amount of price. You can create an advert that's got a stressed out mum holding a baby on it that says, needs some extra hands around the house. We get it. You're a new mum. Call us. We're here to help. And if I'm a new mum scrolling through Facebook, that message is going to speak to me. You're solving my problem. You're making me feel heard. And no longer are you then competing with all the other cleaning businesses out there that might offer a cheaper price than you, or they can do more rooms for the same amount. Instead, you're solving a problem for me. You're telling me that you're going to take some work off my hands. Then I'm choosing you. So you're not, can you see, you're not competing on price because that's what you do if you only ever mention your price in your ads. Instead, because you're niching in um, on whoever your target audience is, you're able to say what their problem is and solve it. And therefore, you don't have to compete on price. Instead, you're competing on the value that you can offer to that new mum. And there's plenty of examples. There's loads you can do with Facebook ads. You could show 
adverts to people that have pets and say, oh, has your dog? Love your dog, but don't like the way he smells. We can clean your carpets. And if I'm a dog owner, I'm going to think, wow, that's me. That's a problem that I have. Therefore, I'm going to use you guys. Um, that level of targeting is amazing. So that's two ways, Google Ads and Facebook, that you can get in front of your target audience. The third is be physically in the place that your target audience is. So if it's new mums, then you need to be leafleting and putting up flyers in nurseries and play centers and like yoga mum classes. If your target audience is people that own pets, then put them flyers up in dog groomers and make connections with people that own dog grooming salons. If your target audience is hotel owners, because you're going after the commercial market, figure out when all the trade shows are for hotel business, for the hotel industry and get a stand there. You are literally, you know, it might be a couple of hundred pounds or dollars to have a stand there, but you are going to be in front of all of your target audience are going to be all in one room together. How powerful is that? 